But on our screen, we have France and Australia with these punches. Maybe you can talk a about, about favorites or best brothers on this leg. What do you think? I mean, we will see the teams from this leading group trying to push away and make the gap even bigger uh, compared to the other teams. Um, so I think that Sweden and Switzerland and Spain and Finland, they will try to keep together and try to keep in this leading group. And now we got the punch at the first radio control. Uh, it's still Sweden in the lead, Jonathan Gustafsson. But we also got Switzerland, uh, Timo Sutter there, only two seconds behind. And now we got the punch in third place from Teemu Oksanen from Finland. He is seven seconds behind. And we got also the punch from Spain, Pablo Fernando Galan, who is only ten seconds behind. So this four teams in ten seconds. We are still missing Great Britain from this leading group here. So the four teams, Sweden, Switzerland, Finland and Spain, they were able to get away from Edmund Grierson from Great Britain, now 42 seconds behind the leading team from Sweden. So there's a gap from the group of the leading four of uh, 32 seconds compared to this leading group. Yeah, it seems like these four teams are putting heavy pressure on the other teams. Now we got other punches there, Czech Republic into sixth position, Wojtek Sikora seventh. Uh, France, but uh, we have to be careful there because we have a mispunch on our screen for the seventh nation there, France. Then we have Norway, Ulrich Arnesen, Hungary, Sultan Buidoso, Italy, Francesco Mariani, Aston Key from Australia, but also there we have a mispunch on our screen. Uh, Japan, Hiroki Komaki, uh, Belgium, Barre de Kuiper, uh, those teams from one minute to one and a half minutes. Uh, after the leading route. So the running time for the runners on this second leg is a bit more than six minutes and they are now in this part where we've seen the women splitting up on different route choices so it will be interesting to see if uh, we will see some gaps here as well because this is the part where the five leading teams got the gap on the first leg. So an interesting part of this race now and very soon after that they will be here at the pre-warning and then shortly after at the arena passage again. Also we got punch at the first radio from Denmark, they are two minutes behind, exactly two minutes behind. Poland, Friedrich Prima, he is two minutes and four seconds behind. But Bulgaria, Germany, New Zealand, they are five minutes behind, almost two minutes. So we are still waiting for the runners to come to this second radio control. And we expect, of course, the leading teams uh, more or less together. Still, Sweden, Switzerland, Finland and Spain. And now we got the punch from Sweden. So very soon they will be here at the Arena Passage. And I think we can hear them. We can hear... Here they come. Jonathan Gustafsson from Sweden with a small gap now.
But we can see this is a clear gap now, so we have the two big, big favorites in the lead. And now we got the punch also from Finland, but the gap is already 23 seconds between Sweden and Finland. We can see Timo Oksanen passing through. So now we are waiting for the fourth team, Spain. Pablo Ferrando Galan very soon to the arena passage. Pablo comes in fourth place, 47 seconds down, there we can see him punch. And here is uh, Pablo Ferrando Galan into fourth position. 47 seconds behind and we can see clearly that this field is splitting up. Sweden and Switzerland still in the lead. Three seconds between the two leading teams. Then the gap between Switzerland and Finland, 23 seconds and Spain, another 24 seconds behind Finland. And now we got a punch from Australia as the key is doing really, really well. Fifth spot from France. We have to be careful. Theo Hanoni for France in sixth place. Francesco Mariani for Italy. Not far behind. We can see Wojtek Sikora, Czech Republic, Adam Grierson. We can see Norway, Ulrich Arneson. And we see for Hungary, Sultan Buidoso. This was the group. All within 10 seconds. Japan passing here. Miroki Komaki. Slovakia, Martin Rohac in 14th place. You can see you can see Matska for Denmark. Running time for the runners on the second leg. Now 11 minutes. So if the prediction of the course planners is as good for the men's course, then we expect them to be here in about two minutes. Uh, in a very short while, we'll get them to the pre-warning and the radio control. Poland passing. Felix Bima. He is in 16th spot, but that's 2 minutes and 36 seconds down. We can see Stefan Jordano from Bulgaria. And now we got the punch at the pre-warning for the changeover. And it's still Sweden in the lead. Jonathan Gustafsson, 24-25 the time. Uh, 11 seconds behind Timo Sutter from Switzerland. And Sweden, they will hand over Jonathan Gustafsson to August Malien. And for Switzerland, the next runner, Tino Pausini. So we have this, those two nations here very soon at the changeover. No other nation has punched the control yet. And here is uh, Jonathan Gustafsson on the last meters and the changeover. And uh, August Mullian heading out to the third leg. And here we also got Tino Sutter. Tino Sutter, he is handing over to Tino Pausini. And in the meanwhile, we had Finland to the pre-warning. Team Finland into third position. Timo Oksanen, uh, 40 seconds behind. Here we here comes Tim Oksana. He will hand over to Thomas Heikila. Thomas Heikila heads out on his leg. And soon expect Spain. There you come. Here he is. Pablo Ferrando Galan, and he will hand over uh, to the third leg runner, Alvaro Gasano Gomez, the fourth position. 
Got the force completion in the sprint, in the individual sprint. So a very strong sprint runner out for Spain now, chasing the medal teams. Sweden, Switzerland and Finland at the gap between Finland and Spain. 34 seconds. And here we can see Astuki, Astuki coming to the finish. And Astuki will hand over to Adam Schindler. We also have uh, France here, Italy. We have Francesco Mariani, Italy. We also have Matthias Copet. And we have Norway, Jürgen Barkley, heading up. And for Hungary, the next runner, Ferenc Jonas on the third leg. We have Japan, Hiroki Komaki coming in. And we will head over to Rio Asama. We also got uh, Belgium, uh, Varre de Kuiper, heading over to Liam Thiels. Denmark heading in, Matt Scout, and he will head over, go over, change over to Maurits Bissot Roller. Slovakia's Daniel Fokura and Austria's Geo Girl start to change, chase Denmark up the street. So this second leg has been splitting up the field quite uh, strongly. So now we have a clear leader here for Sweden and uh, Switzerland. And then we have quite a big gap down to Finland and Spain. And uh, the runners on the third leg, they have been out for almost four minutes now. So not so much time left until we get them to the next radio control. And now we got the punch. We got the punch from Sweden. August Malin has punched his first radio control. And uh, so far, we have got the punch from Tino Ponsini in Switzerland. Now we got the punch from Tino Ponsini. 18 seconds behind Sweden. So the gap is growing a little bit at the arena passage or at the changeover. The gap was 13 seconds. Now it has grown to 18 seconds. So uh, quite uh, starts to be quite a gap there for Sweden. Okay, if you look at the gap that Timo Oxen has when he changed over, it was 14 seconds. And now we got the punch from Finland. Also to this first radio control, Finland, uh, Tuomas Heikile punching 50 seconds behind. And we are waiting now for Alvaro Casado Gomez from Spain to be the next runner punching this first radio control. Exactly, Alvaro, we expect him to be running more or less. Yes. Now he's there. He has been punching 1 minute and 15 seconds behind. So he's 25 seconds behind uh, the bronze medal, uh, the current bronze medal. So he was a little bit faster than that team Oxen and on his first uh, maybe 5, 6 minutes of running. team has been punching there so far only four teams uh, Sweden Switzerland Finland and Spain now we got Great Britain there as well uh, Peter Molloy together 
with uh, Australia, Evan Schingler, Italy, Matthias Koppel, uh, France, Basile Bassi, and the uh, Czech Republic and Hungary are there as well. Uh, all of them within a few seconds at the first radio control on the third leg. But they are, the whole group are two minutes, more than two minutes behind the leading team from Sweden. Yeah, and we can see they are steadily losing a little bit more time. So they lost another 50 seconds, groups. And this will be tough to reverse this trend. So we we'll very soon we expect them to be at the second radio. We expect the team from Sweden to be there and uh, then to the arena passage. have been out for eight minutes now and we have no punch yet from Sweden we have no punch from Switzerland either so none of the teams has been there at the second radio control and from the second radio control as we know it's only a few seconds to the arena passage now we got the punch now we got the punch from August Malian from Sweden 33 minutes and 29 seconds uh, into the competition and he is here now at the arena passage and also we had a Tino Pausini he will be here very soon the gap only 11 seconds now so he is turning up the speed Tino Pausini for Switzerland seven seconds faster from the first radio control to this arena passage And uh, at the previous radio control, the gap between Switzerland and Finland was uh, 32 seconds. And we got the punch from Finland, Thomas Heikele. We can see him punch there and heading out on last loop. Thomas Heikele, 41 seconds is the gap. So the gap compared to Sweden, big compared to the leader, uh, is not as big anymore, only 41 seconds, it was 50 seconds at the first radio control, so a good race here from Thomas Heikila. Now we also got uh, Spain, very soon to get here to the arena passage, uh, Alvaro Casado Gomez. This guy was running. 15 seconds, and we can see it now, Alvaro. He is 1 minute and 19 seconds behind. So, almost a gap of half a minute to Finland. Thomas Heikile still tries to chase it. So, the gap between the medalists, the current medalists, Sweden, Switzerland, Finland, compared to Spain, is growing a little bit. Uh, Alvaro Casado Gomez lost a few seconds here on between the first and the second radio control. Now we also got a punch from Great Britain, Peter Malloy, very soon to get here into the arena. Uh, the gap between Peter Malloy and Sweden is a little bit more than two minutes, two minutes and two seconds. Uh, Ferenc is also there, two minutes and 13 seconds behind for Hungary. And now we got the whole group in here, France, Australia, Czech Republic and Italy. So you can see the whole group now passing through the arena. We can note that the 
they are more or less running at the same speed as Sweden at the top, so they're not losing any more time now. We have Norway passing through the arena. They are 2 minutes and 44 seconds behind. Here, Jürgen Barkley heading out on last loop. And now we got a punch at the pre-warning, but it's not Sweden, it is Switzerland, Tino Ponsini punching there. And we haven't got the punch from Sweden yet, so uh, it seems that uh, P Tino Ponsini was able to run and overtake August Malin uh, on this part here. And here he comes! No, and he here he comes now, Tino Ponsini to the changeover and he will change over to the last leg runner, Elin Gempele, the winner of the sprint race earlier this year and the gap. There is Sweden. There must have been a mistake by August Molin. Here we got Finland and Sweden. So Finland was able to overtake Sweden here. Uh, Thomas Heikila changing in second position. And he will send out Inka Norminen. Inka Norminen for Finland. And August Molin into third position. Sending out Tilda Östberg to the last leg here for Sweden. So uh, many things happened here on this third leg. In the lead, in a clear lead now, Tino Pausini for Switzerland, 33 seconds ahead of Sweden. And we also have Spain here into fourth position, Alvaro Casado Gomez uh, at the gap. One minute and six seconds. Uh, to this, so 33 seconds behind the medal spots here for Spain. And Anna Isabel Tornedo Navarro is heading out and chasing the three leading teams. And we are waiting for Team Great Britain to come here to the changeover. We are also waiting for Italy and uh, Czech Republic. And here it comes, uh, Peter Malloy for Great Britain. Ch changing over to Cecilia Anderson. Australia. We can see Sofia Sarkozy for Hungary. We can see Cecil Calandri. He is chasing hard from France. We had, of course, Jana Petrova for Czech Republic in there in this group as well. So, as I mentioned before, big changes in the lead here uh, for the leading group. We had Sweden heading out to this third leg as the first, as the leading team, and then Switzerland and Finland. But now, on the fourth leg, we have Switzerland in the lead, 32 seconds ahead of Finland and 35 seconds ahead of Sweden. Uh, so all the three medal spots within 35 seconds and then another 32 seconds down to Spain on fourth position. Meanwhile, we had for Norway, Emma Arnesen heading out. Her gap down to the leading team is three minutes and ten seconds. Eight spot.
best uh, runners from the last leg. They have been out now, or at least the Swiss runner, Ilin Kempeli, has been out now for almost exactly four minutes. And we know that the first radio control we usually get in after about five, five and a half minutes. So very soon we can give you some information about this first radio control on the last and decisive leg here. For Denmark, we have Ida Öbu heading out. They are in 11th position. We have for Bel Belgium heading out. Julia Kriekel. And now we got the punch. Now we got the punch at the first radio control, and it is. Still, Switzerland there, Elin Gempele, and no punch so far from Finland and Sweden. The gap at the changeover, 32 seconds compared to Finland and 35 seconds compared to Sweden. So no other team has punched there. Now we got the punch from the other teams. In second position now, Sweden, 34 seconds behind Elin Gempele. And in third position uh, for Finland, Inka Nurminen, 35 seconds behind. So they are still together, Sweden and Finland, fighting for, as it looks like, the silver and bronze medal. Gap between uh, Switzerland and Sweden. A little, little bit bigger, uh, increased by one second compared to the silver position. And next uh, to be there, we expect Spain, uh, Ana Toledo Navarro, but we haven't got the punch yet from Spain. Our gap was a little bit more than one minute, so. She could be punching there any second. Now she punched there. Anna Toledo Navarro for Spain. But the gap is growing. One minute and 40 seconds now. So the gap between Finland and Spain. Uh, between the bronze medalist and the fourth position at the moment. One minute and five seconds. That's quite a big gap. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be very, very tough for Anna Toledo Navarro to uh, catch the other runners from Sweden and Finland and get back into the medal position. It will be a tough job for her to even defend this fourth position because only 30 seconds behind her we got the punt from Cecilia Anderson from Great Britain. So the gap between Spain and Great Britain is now only 30 seconds. Punch from France in sixth place, two minutes and 31 seconds down. That's 40 seconds behind Great Britain. And together with her, Czech Republic, Jana Peterova. A little bit more behind, Sofia Sarkozy for Hungary and Anna Peade for Italy. Also in the top ten, we got the punch for Mikaela Cooper, and she is three minutes and four seconds down. And now we got the punch at the pre-warning for the arena passage and it still is Elin Kempele for Switzerland. So very, sh very soon she will be here. Here she is, punching the control and heading towards the second loop. Elin Kempele is still in the lead. We have no punch from Sweden yet, no punch from Finland. So the gap between Switzerland and Sweden at the first radio control, 34 seconds. We haven't got them yet to the pre-warning. 
Now we got them. And the gap is growing. It's 37 seconds now between Switzerland and Sweden. And Sweden and Finland exactly the same time. Uh, coming here to the arena passage. So the fight as it looks at the moment for the silver and bronze medal between Sweden and Finland. able to keep the gap down to Great Britain or uh, if she's losing time still continues losing time compared to Great Britain but we haven't got the punch for Anna Toledo Navarro yet. Now he's got the punch from Anna Dolina Navarro into fourth position still, but the gap is still growing, two minutes and seven seconds. Uh, so one thirty behind, and uh, now we also got the punch from Great Britain. They are only 14 seconds behind Spain now. Anna is running through the arena here, Spain in fourth place, but she's not far from Cecil Anderson in fifth spot. Great Britain running through the arena. Now we also got a punch from France. Cecile Galantry punching there. Two minutes 48 behind. So 41 seconds behind Spain. Uh, 27 seconds behind Great Britain. We also got a punch from the Czech Republic. Jana Petrova. 2.55 behind. Cécile Calandry running here through the arena for France. And right behind her, Jana Peterova for Czech Republic. And running through the arena, also Sofia Sarkozy for Hungary. Running in eight spots. We are expecting very soon the first teams to the pre-warning uh, before the finish here. And of course we expect uh, the first team from Switzerland and uh, the gap from Switzerland to Sweden was 37 seconds. And now we got the punch. Now we got the punch at the pre-warning and very soon to the finish. And it is still Elin Gempele who has been punching there for Switzerland. So very soon we expect the winning team here from Switzerland. We had them in the leading group all the way throughout the competition. Uh, but it was Tino Pausini who was able to pass Sweden on the third leg. Uh, when he managed to get away. And here she comes, Elin Gambele taking the Swiss team to a clear victory in the sprint relay. The team, Deborah Stadler, Timo Sutte, Tino Corsini, Elin Gempele taking the victory. And behind them, we got the punch also from the second and third team. And it is a small gap there. So let's see who's coming first. Uh, of the two teams, Sweden and Finland, soon to get to the arena. And here she comes, Tilda Östberg for Sweden, taking her team into a second position and the silver medal. And now we're waiting for the third team from Finland, Inka Norminen, into the bronze medal spot. Running there in front of two of her teammates taking Finland into the third position. So the silver medalists from Sweden. 
Vi har ett bild med från Cruiser Stjärna, Jonathan Gustafsson, August Molén och Tilda Östberg. And the bronze medalist from Finland, Elisa Mattila, Teemu Oksanen, Thomas Heikele and Inka Nurminen. So we are waiting now for the teams from Spain and Great Britain. And it was so the question is, is Spain still ahead of Great Britain? The gap was about uh, 14 seconds at the Arena Passage and we got a punch from both of them coming very soon to the uh, finish here. And this will be a very tight finish. And here they come, and it is, no, it's not the team, it's e neither Great Britain nor Spain yet, we're still waiting for them. And here she comes, from Spain, it's Spain into a fourth position. Anna Isabel Toledo Navarro, and here we can see Great Britain, Cecil Anderson, going into a fifth spot. So the next team we are expecting here into the finish uh, from Czech Republic, Jana Petarova. Uh, the gap uh, down to the leading teams, uh, 3.24, so very soon to get her um, here. And the 10 seconds behind Petarova at the Czech Republic, we've got the punch from Hungary, uh, Sofia Sarkozy and uh, France, Cécile Calandry, only 2 seconds behind Hungary. And here she comes, Jana Petrova taking the Czech Republic into a sixth position. And uh, only a few steps behind. We also get Hungary, Sofia Sarkozy. And we are waiting for France, Cécile Calandry into eighth position. Next team we expect is Norway in ninth spot. There she punches at last control. Emma Arnesen for Norway heading into a nice spot at the finish. And the next thing we expect is Italy. They punch at the pre-warning in 10th position. Anna Ferrade. So it was quite an intense relay here. We got the winners from Switzerland uh, after a big change on the third leg. There, Tino Pausini took the Swiss team into the lead and uh, handed over to William Gappel, who secured that gold medal for Switzerland and uh, second position. As we kind of predicted that it would be a fight between Switzerland and Sweden, so Tilda Östberg into second for Sweden and the bronze medal uh, to Finland and the Inka Nurminen. All three teams, all three of them within 51 seconds. We have a 
Australia in 11th position, Michaela Cooper, Martin Finnish, and Ida Ogu from Denmark in 12th position. And we soon expect Japan. There she comes with the last control. Kotomi Ibe for Japan in 13th position. Team to finish, uh, Austria, Anna Grall, taking Austria to 14th position. Seven minutes, so uh, a bit more than seven minutes behind uh, the leaders or the winners from Switzerland. Yaksova coming into the 16th spot to the finish. To the finish, uh, Teresa Smelikova from Slovakia. Into 14th position.
to finish Hong Kong Ying Chu uh, into a 17th position. We have a few teams here on our result list with a preliminary mispunch, but we have to wait uh, for a few minutes uh, to see if we get them confirmed. But it's not of the top three teams, of course. So I'm standing here with Team Sweden. Congra congratulations on the silver medal. How was it to run the start uh, of the relay for you, Vilma? Oh, it, it was quite fun. You know, it's, uh, it's nervous to run the first leg for a team. I know that I will do it so good for my team, and uh, it's quite tricky there outside. So yeah, but it was really fun. How was it for you, Jonathan? You were running really well in the weather, individual sprint. Um, how was it to perform well now? Or what was your recipe to do the same today? Yeah, I felt uh, really confident uh, with the goal in the individual sprint. I think I handled my race uh, really good. Some small hesitations, but I'm uh, happy with my race. August, um, you and Jonathan, you both won uh, a medal this year in the KO sprint. And, uh, we knew that you were really good, but can you take us through what happened today on the third uh, leg? How, what uh, was the situation? Yeah, Jonathan gave me a really good uh, uh, handout in the lead, so I hope to just uh, take it from there uh, and uh, stay in the lead. But I made a quite good first loop, but then uh, right after the, the arena passage, I mistook uh, a fence. Uh, in the stair, I thought uh, that you could take the stairs and combine the fence, but apparently they were together. I didn't notice that until I was in, in there, so then I had to turn back and go a long way around. So, yeah, that feels really heavy right now. I, I'm a bit disappointed that I let my teammates down, but I, yeah, it was really great on them to fix the silver. And, uh, and how was it for you um, to run on the last leg? You ran together with Finland, and how was it to? Uh, yeah, in the end, the fight for the silver medal, how did you experience it? Uh, I think it was a really good race and I just tried to focus on my job and uh, focus on my map. Uh, and yeah, I, after the arena passage it was uh, two kind of uh, road shows, so I just we get time to see both and uh, just pick that I thought was the best. And I actually didn't stalk him anymore, so <laughs> it was a good time. Very good. Congratulations, Tilda, August, Jonathan, and Vilma for the silver medal. And now we also got uh, Oriana Riley from the United States into an 18th position.